I thought she must have been raised by wild animals. She was so strange, in a nice way, of course. But then, Père Lachaise, the king's confessor, comes to ask after her, so perhaps she is somehow linked to the court, especially because they gave her such nice quarters. Then she starts talking about live fish, and I must say, I'm starting to think all over again that she was indeed raised in the wilds. Actually, I don't have a clue what you're talking about. But after two years at sea, I found your every word so deeply soothing. Mademoiselle. Thank you for joining us for worship, Captain. It was profoundly moving, Father. Père Lachaise's benedictions will melt even the strongest of hearts. I do believe, Captain, that you and Monsieur Lantiac are well acquainted. Indeed, Majesty. Permit me to offer my condolences on the passing of your father. I'm sure he would be proud to know what his money has bought. That's how the world works, isn't it? You can see it as how your world works. Tell me, Captain, how is it that you have managed to be released from the Bastille? The Captain has been at sea these past two years on a special mission which has proven to be a singular success. I may even make him an admiral. You're very fortunate. Won't you join us for supper this evening, Captain, and fascinate us with stories of the sea? Would be an honor, Majesty. But might I invite my second? He's a far greater raconteur than I. Mm. One barracuda is gruesome enough. Ten will curdle your toes. But we hit a pod of 300 big ones.